Many people uh, in the West want to know what is the relationship between Ayurveda and yoga. Uh, Ayurveda and yoga are nothing but they are two sides of the same coin. Ayurveda is the healing system of India and it has been there since thousands of years. The word meaning Ayurveda, Ayu in our language means life and Veda means knowledge. It is the knowledge about life or it is the science of life. At the Ayurveda Gram Wellness Center in southern India, the ingredients for the remedies are grown locally in their own herb garden. It is health care as nature intended it. Herbs plays a very important role in Ayurvedic healing science. And most of the herbs in Ayurvedic medicines are as a part of uh, our Indian diet and nutrition. This plant in Sanskrit called Guluchi, or we call it as Amrita. Amrita is nothing but elixir, the ultimate medicine, because it is having a wide range of use, both in physical system and mental system. Its botanical name is Tinospora cordifolia. And see, the, the leaf resembles the heart. It is a cardiotonic. It is very effective in autoimmune diseases. It is very good in joint problems, whether it is a spine problem, spondylitis, or rheumatoid arthritis, or in various types of uh, joint issues. It is very effective. This therapy, Kadivasti, can be used for various purposes. One common use is the lower back pain. Even the slip disc and sciatica and lower back related problems. Once we have done this structuring, then we pour warm medicated oil over that area. This therapy improves the circulation, strengthens the muscles and ligaments holding the spine, so the load will be shared, the upper body load will be shared by the muscles and ligaments and that will help to avoid the load on the disc and the bone and it will prevent the chance of slip disc and related lower back complications. Each oil is prepared with particular herbs. So by keeping the warm oil here, the warmth helps in opening up the pores and helps enhances the chance of absorption. The Ayurvedic spa acts as a sanctuary from the outside, a fence to keep out toxins and stress that build up in our daily life. The healing begins the moment you walk through the gates. In a treatment called Shiradhara, warm oil is poured continuously on the head, inducing a profound state of deep relaxation. The patient is then massaged from head to toe with a mixture of plants and herbs that are fried together with warm sesame oil. The heat from the oil draws out toxins through sweat and allows the herbs to penetrate and take effect. If you are out of balance physically, the Ayurveda puts you back into the balance. If you are out of balance mentally, the yoga will put you into the uh, balance. So these two are so important, the physical aspect of us and the mental aspect of us are totally, uh, they have to be in balance for us to be able to reach the goal of our life, which is to know the truth.